Surprise, Los Angeles remains the smoggiest city in the nation with an average of more than 140 days per year at unhealthy air levels. I think all age groups are affected. Breathing in this pollution can shorten lives, cause respiratory disease, and trigger asthma attacks. The most susceptible would be the younger as well as the elderly. Uh, in terms of health effects. American Lung Association found dirty air in California causes an estimated 18,000 premature deaths per year. Individuals living closer to freeways, ports, and power plants are affected the most. It's not good. It's really, really bad. Brooke Renwick has lived in Los Angeles for five years. She moved from Baltimore and saw an immediate decrease in air quality. When you like are driving down La Brea and you can't see the mountains, yeah, it feels like maybe this isn't very healthy for me. It's unenjoyable kind of dampens the whole experience. She also noticed a change in her health. Um, well, I have asthma. I've had to like go back on an inhaler because, you know, it's just so much worse here than it was in Maryland. But even though some days are noticeably smoggier, it doesn't stop her and other Angelinas from enjoying the outdoors. I do like to hike Runyon when it's like not really gross. Some would rather not know the dangers and continue their daily routines. Leslie Cartman works out at Runyon Canyon three times a week with her dog. No, God, I don't want to know. <laughs> I would rather just come and not even think about what, it, what I'm inhaling, you know? Sometimes she can tell a difference in air quality and reconsiders hiking the canyon. There's days where it's like, oh, I can't do this. It's just so smoggy. And other days where it's so clear, I'll do it two, three times. So the smog factor affects my workout for sure. Doctors give simple advice when the ozone level drops into the danger zone. Uh, absolutely, if the air quality is very poor, that you should stay indoors. Air can be particularly hazardous after wildfires. When we had the fires, I actually ended up being taken to an urgent care facility a couple of times and told I had to stay indoors for a while. Um, I was having asthma attacks. It was so bad. However, there is some hope. The number of dangerous ozone days this year has dropped 25% in LA County, even if some are not aware. Because you're so used to it, you don't even, I don't feel like no one even notices it, so they don't think that they should be doing something to prevent it. But as smoggy days are on the decline, it's still no surprise millions in Los Angeles are currently inhaling exhaust, soot, and dust, among other toxins. This is Holly Butcher, Journalism 503.